ladies and gentlemen, it's here, the Totemic Shaman, he uh, Shaman Hero Talents. And let me tell you, spoiler alert, they are amazing. This is what we've been waiting for, at least uh, what it sounds on paper, of course. Although I've seen very little footage from the Alpha. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a blast. So uh, fasten your seat belts and let's go. I'm going to go to both the Enhancement and Restoration Talents. Uh, as they both look uh, very, very nice. All right, so let's start. Surging Totem. This one replaces either Healing Rain if you're Resto or Wind Fury Totem if you're Enhancement. Now, uh, let's start with the Restoration. It replaces Healing Rain. It's a 20 second cooldown and it lasts for 20 seconds. And pay attention, instant cast. Like, this is a win, boys. This is a huge win. Because uh, first, it's gonna last longer. Second, you're not gonna waste time to cast it. And it summons a totem at your feet that immediately and then every 5 seconds cast healing rain within 30 yards where allies are present, healing for 30% more than a normal healing rain. So this is basically a healing rain on steroids and... It's insta-cast and it's going to keep casting and revocating your healing rain if it needs to. Now, the only concern here is um, it seems that it's going to target a bunch of people. Like if people are clustered, it's going to target them. Uh, maybe for rate, it's a little bit questionable because if your range is stacked and then it's not hitting the boss or like we don't know exactly how that's going to work. That actually needs to work really get great for uh, this talent to be viable. But it, it, it's amazing, right? Uh, it's empowered healing rain. It's gonna auto cast it and every 20 seconds you just have to press the button and it's there. Like this sounds so cool that I, like I'm so excited. Like I have no uh, like I'm so impatient to just go and try this out. Sounds sounds like a blast. All right, let's go through the other ones quickly. Um, most of them are apparently not implemented, so people with Alpha couldn't even test them. But Chain Heal now jumps to a nearby totem, and then once it reaches the max target, it jumps to additional uh, injured ally. That doesn't sound very powerful because it's losing uh, potential value, right? When it jumps to the ne next uh, target. So unless you have high tide, that's not very useful. Uh, maybe not even useful in M+. Although maybe it can jump back to a target that has already been healed. But it is what it is. It's not a bad thing uh, to have. Uh, over here, this one increases the size and the radius of your totems and the health of your totems by 30%. This is actually interesting because uh, let's say SLT is going to be bigger. Very nice for rate. Um, Earth, Earthen Wall totem is going to have more health. So it's going to absorb more damage. So this one is actually very interesting. And then it's a note. Uh, the other one is uh, basically reducing the cooldown of all of your cleansing totems. Poison, Tremor, Earth Grab, etc. All of these uh, will have less cooldown if uh, they actually do what they're supposed to. So if Poison Cleansing dispels something, it's, it's going to reduce its cooldown. That's actually not bad, especially for, let's say, Afflicted Weeks, uh, because uh, you, you'll be able to actually use the Poison Cleansing Totem for every set of affixes, if uh, that's still a thing. Not that we like Afflicted, but, you know, if you're Restoration Shaman or any kind of Shaman, then that's actually not bad at all. Very interesting note, both notes, both talents actually are viable. And then we have increased duration of your earth leaving effect by 6 seconds. That's a bit dumb because um, you're not using your earth leaving weapon, right? You, you're not going to be using that. Uh, I don't even use it in raid currently. There is a caveat though for the last talent that uh, supposedly is going to provide some earth leaving effects uh, on your targets every 20 seconds. So if that's the case, if you can get earth leaving effect without having the talent, the talent at all, then this is actually not bad. It's going to be very long earth living. It's going to hit everybody in your party as you're going to see. So uh, in that case, that's going to be win. If it's not the case and basically they're trying like to force you to get the earth leaving effect, this is useless. So uh, we'll see how this one plays out. Let's go to the middle now. Uh, when surging totem is active, your damage and healing is increased by 3%. That's a flat uh, increase all over the bar board. And keep in mind that surging totem, as we mentioned, is going to be up all the time. So you're going to have 3% more healing and damage. It's damage also, which is great. Like this shaman tree is amazing, as I said. The other note is uh, while Ascendance is active, surging totem is 150% more uh, effective, which means that it's probably going to cast more healing rains, uh, etc. But uh, 
both are actually viable. You'll probably stick with the flat 3% since Ascendance is a very long cooldown, but we'll see how this uh, turns out. If you have a totem active, your totems grant you a shield, absorbing damage every 30 seconds. So basically that's your defensive. You're going to be getting a shield every 30 seconds, which is not bad. You know, it, we've seen worse, especially uh, the last uh, Shaman 3 that we looked at. So uh, this one is actually uh, semi-decent and could uh, find a lot of play and a lot of value. Then we have another node, increases the damage and healing of Surging Totem by 25%, which is great because, as we said, it's up all the time. And for Restoration, you can imbue your shield. This is a shield imbue that increases your healing by 2% and increases the duration of the Healing Stream Totem and Cloud Burst by 3 seconds. Now, this is actually very good because... Okay, 2% healing, it's uh, eh, whatever. I'd rather have my healing search uh, totem do 25% uh, more. But having 3 extra seconds for Cloud Burst means that it can absorb more healing. You have more coverage because uh, it's going to be longer. So it's going to be out for a longer time. And if you have something like the current tier set bonus, that's going to be a huge bonus. So this is also very exciting uh, note. Both of them could be quite viable. Longer Cloud Burst with more healing or just more uh, surging totem value but uh, again very very interesting note with uh, good choices and then lively totems uh, all of your totems basically are going to cast a free instant chain here when you summon them uh, we had a legend early like that i think uh, so that's that's not something new for us but it's extra healing and those are totems that uh, you're going to be using all the time specific specifically uh, cloud burst healing stream totem things like that even spirit link uh, so that, that's very welcome. And then your healing spells cause your healing stream totem to heal nearby allies immediately for 50% effectiveness. Or if you're using Cloud Burst, it stores 25% additional healing. Now, healing stream, nice addition. So it does a lot of passive healing, but you're going to get some uh, upfront healing once you drop it. That's great. But I'm really excited about the Cloud Burst. It's going to store even more healing. So it's going to be even longer if you take the other talent. So this is actually amazing because uh, you're going to have this fat Cloud Burst that are just going to carry you to both Raid and Mythic Plus. Uh, so this is also a very exciting note. And then uh, we have this one. Chain heal from your totems are 30% more effective. You're going to be getting that quite often with the Cloud Burst or Healing Stream totem. So that's not a bad talent. And Ali is affected by your Earthen Wall Totem. Uh, Earth Living Effect receive 10% increased healing from you. This is probably more in, into the rate, uh, targeted to the rate. We're going to talk about Earth Living when we see the last node, but uh, I guess the, the Chain Heal, uh, the upper talent is much better. And then let's look into the last one. So when you summon this Totem, it has three nodes, modes that orbit around it. And... Uh, they basically give you a buff and you can use that buff uh, by consuming one of those modes. So for healing, one of the modes makes your next healing wave or healing surge to cleave and heal additional ally that's standing inside of your healing rain. And you're going to have somebody in your healing rain in a, a Mythic Plus, probably your tank is going to be there for sure. Uh, that uh, because the surging totem is summoning your healing rains inside um, or on top of other people. So you, you basically get extra cleave and uh, don't mind here the uh, water is the healing one, air is enhancement. So the next one, I guess air is also um, healing, never don't mind me. But it also gives you a different buff which the cast time of your next healing spell is reduced by 14%. So you're getting a very fast healing surge or healing wave which cleaves and heals additional ally. Uh, you can consume both of these at the same time I think. And then here's the interesting part uh, for Earth. Your next chain heal applies Earth Living at 150% effectiveness to all targets that it hits. So Mythic Plus, that's going to be basically everybody in your party. They're going to get the Earth Living. The Earth Living is going to last longer because of the uh, Imbuement Mastery. And uh, then you can even pick this, which is going to give you 10% increased healing to everybody that has that uh, effect on them. Uh, so that ties back uh, very nicely to everything. I'm like, I, I cannot explain how excited I'm, I'm about all of this because uh, you're not going to be casting Healing Rain anymore. Uh, you're not even going to have to target it. That's going to be automatic. So let's hope, let's hope that works. And you get all those extra bonuses and cool things. Uh, it's not going to change your gameplay uh, a lot, but it's actually going to improve it. 
So uh, this sounds like a blast. Uh, I hope that uh, it stays like this. Uh, of course, all of these needs to be uh, implemented first on the PTR. Uh, but uh, yeah, boys, like uh, I, I, this is this is so far for me. It's the best hero talent tree. Of course, of course, uh, I'm biased. No doubt about that. Uh, but it ties back to like uh, the shaman f philosophy, the shaman fantasy. Uh, it kind of has this uh, Vesper totem kind of uh, kind of thing. Uh, so so I'm, I'm I'm really excited. Now let's go to the enhancement because this one has some really nice goodies as well. Now for enhancement, it replaces your Wind Fury totem. And again, it summons a totem at your feet. Every 5 seconds, it bursts. I would assume this will also last uh, 20 seconds. And it's going to do a, a lot of physical damage. Tremor in air enemies in an area. So that's AoE. Unfortunately, it's capped again. But, you know, uh, it's Blizzard. Hopefully, they're going to give us uh, uh, a little bit more joy um, for, uh, for enhancement with some uncapped AoE. Now... Another interesting thing, because it replaces Wind Fury, then uh, the passive effect that you get is your Wind Fury weapon enchants grant the, effect, grant the effects of Wind Fury totem to nearby party members within 30 yards. So basically, you become your Wind Fury totem. Uh, I think that that also means, because right now we're not taking Wind Fury uh, in Mythic Plus, maybe we'll have to. Um, I don't know if, I think if you get this, like if you don't have the Wind Fury Tyrant, you should still get the Surging Totem, right? So then you're actually going to be bringing Wind Fury in your Mythic Plus runs as well, which is very, very exciting. All right, so uh, things are a little bit different, of course, on the enhancements. Stormstrike has a chance to unleash a Surging Bolt at your uh, Surging Totem, increasing the Totem's damage by 10%, and then redirecting the Bolt to your target for nature damage. This bonus uh, effect can stack. So if you're pressing Stormstrike, Good, you're going to be getting bonuses. Um, the other side is for Lava Lash, right? So uh, the other problem uh, with the Stormbringer was basically that it was a little bit focused on things that are not uh, specifically for Mythic Plus. This kind of falls in that category too. If you're running Elementalist, you're not pressing Storm Strike a lot. Uh, but I guess it's going to be a, a good bonus, a good damage. Uh, if uh, you happen to press it on single, single target, you can get a little bit of extra damage. Uh, this one is the same. Basically, uh, increased uh, totem size, which is absolutely useless for enhancement, uh, as you don't have spirit link totem there, right? So, uh, you're gonna be picking the other one. The bad part here is okay, you always have cap totem, right? So, the cap totem you're gonna be able to use it much more often, but unless it's like afflicted week or something, you're not even running the other totems. So, yeah, I mean, that's a problem with that note, but uh, we we'll take it, it is what it is. Uh, and then increases the chance of Wind Fury Weapon to trigger by 10% and increases its damage by 15%. This is going to be huge for the Storm build, uh, which heavily relies on Storm Strike and Wind Fury, right? Uh, but obviously you won't be able to run all the talents at the same time. If you're not pressing Storm Strike, then, you know, uh, I guess it's going to be a nice passive damage increase to your Wind Fury Weapon because you're running that in the Elementalist build as well. Uh, so... Extra damage is extra damage. Uh, it's always welcome. Uh, down to the middle, again, you get 3% more damage. Uh, I don't think uh, Ascendance is going to be even viable for this talent, as, as you're not running that, for sure. Uh, so, 3% damage, that's fine. Uh, same thing, you're going to get a shield every 30 seconds. That's nice for enhancement specifically, because your survivability is not up to par with other classes. So, having that is going to help a, a little bit. And then, same thing, uh, it increases the uh, Surging Totem damage by 25%, uh, which, depending on the scaling, could be very, very powerful, because it seems that it's doing a lot right now. Or you can take the uh, other one, which increases the Critical Strike chance of your Flame Tongue weapon and its Critical Strike damage by 30%. So it's basically the same as the Wind Fury weapon, but for your other imbue of the weapons. Uh, some passive damage. I think that, specifically for enhancement, you're going to be taking the upper one 100% of the time. Let's look into the right side. Lava Lash has a chance to summon a Searing Totem to attack a nearby enemy for 8 seconds. We don't know how much damage it's going to be doing and how uh, often it's going to be proccing, but it's extra damage and you're pressing Lava Lash all the time, basically. So that's quite welcome. And then you have Frost Shocks, Empowered Hailstorms or Fire Nova if you're running that. Cause your Searing Totems to shoot a volley of fire for fireballs up to 5 enemies. So this is probably going to be a single target Totem that uh, basically ticks on your target. And then once you Frost Shock uh, having this down, it's going to do even more AoE damage. 
Again, it's capped. It's five enemies. That's very bad. But it's going to be extra cleave uh, to your funnel damage already. So that's uh, that actually sounds uh, quite uh, exciting. And then this one increases the critical strike damage of the Searing Totem attacks by 50% and the critical strike damage by 30%. Uh, so that's going to be even more damage from those Searing Totems that you summon based on your uh, Lava Lashes, especially during, during uh, Hot Hands. I would assume that you can summon several of these at the same time. Uh, you can basically stack a few uh, of them. And then the other one, Casting Sundering, uh, basically causes a Tremor that does even more damage. But that's a talent that uh, you could run in Mythic Plus right now, but it's not very popular. And I don't know if that's going to change, so it's probably going to be the other node. And then let's look into the Whirling Elements for Enhancement as well. Your next Storm Strike deals 25% increased damage and damages one nearby enemy, so it cleaves. Uh, that's actually going to make you press Storm Strike at least once once you summon the Totem because it's going to do a decent amount of damage, right? It's going to be increased and it's going to cleave, so it's basically almost double damage. So this one is not bad. Uh, it's kind of going to tie back to this talent that we saw here that's basically reliant on Storm Strike. So it's good to have something that's going to make you press that button a little bit more in the Elementalist build. Then we have Casting Sundering or Elemental Blast refers 12 seconds from its cooldown. So that means that once you summon the Totem, um, <clears throat> you get Ellie Blast, uh, you cast Ellie Blast and you get the cooldown refunded back. So that means that on single target, you can do even more Ellie Blast and you're not going to start referring back to your Chain Lightning because your Ellie Blasts are basically uh, on cooldown. Um, so that's interesting. I mean, uh, we'll see how it turns out. It's good for single target for sure, but for um, for Cleave, you're not pressing Ellie Blast in huge AoE situations at all. Uh, so... You know, that's that's kind of too edge. Like, uh, I can see a situation where you drop this totem and this molt is never consumed because you never press Ellie Blast. Uh, of course, if it's not single target. But on single target, it uh, it could be quite nice. A little bit, like, I, I would like to see this change to uh, something a little bit more impactful uh, as it, it is on the Resto tree. Because this one, as I said, it's kind of dubious. It's not clear how, how good it's going to be. But then the Fire one increases the critical strike chance of your next Fire Nova or Lava Lash, which is what you're going to use to consume it by 50% and the critical strike damage by 30%. So that's going to be even more damage from your Lava Lashes. Very, very excited. Again, uh, the Resto seems a little bit better than the Totemic, but um, honestly, I would like to probably play this uh, apart from uh, instead of the Stormbringer for enhancement as well. And uh, I really wish I had Alpha right now to test this out because it sounds like a blast, boys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like it? Are you excited about the Totemic Shaman? I was really scared that this is going to be a bad, bad Hero 3. And basically, we wouldn't have anything good for Enhancement Shamans. But luckily, that's not the case. So, hopefully soon we get to test this during beta. And uh, I'll provide more content as soon as that happens. But in the meantime, let me know how do you guys feel about this. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Now get out of here.